What's up, desktopers? Xavier Wills here for Desktop Bodybuilding, and we are back with another video. And today I'm doing my wrap up of 2021 Mr. Olympia 212 pre judging. And it was a battle between Sean Clarita, Derek Lunsford, and Kamal L. Gagne. It came down to a last call out. I'm going to go pose by pose and break that down, plus highlight about four to five other competitors as well that stood out for one reason or another. So let's get straight into it. We'll start with the front double bicep, where you can see here Derek Lunsford is front and center. Everyone got a chance in the middle as well. So just so you guys know, it wasn't like he was definitely the winner or anything like that. You can see the structure here. Derek Lunsford structure-wise wins this pose hands down. And for that reason, I'd probably give him this pose slightly over Sean Clarita, although Sean looks very impressive. And this was slightly angled to the right-hand side as well. So Kamalo Gagne and Derek Lunsford have the advantage here, not so much Sean Clarita. And Sean Clarita did look better once he got moved into the middle. Front lat spread, I would say Derek Lunsford is winning this based on structure. Now, conditioning-wise, you know, through the chest and the shoulders, Derek Lunsford doesn't have it still um, in terms of, you know, compared to Kamal and compared to Sean Clarita. Uh, but I would say Derek Lunsford probably has that pose narrowly. Now, in the side shots, I would say probably Sean Clarita is getting Derek Lunsford here. Now, while they're stationary and some of the photos just still, you can sort of say, oh, Derek Lunsford, but I think the conditioning through the chest and the shoulders and the pop that Sean Clarita has, I'd probably give it to him on the side chest. Moving on to the back double bicep, hands down, Derek Lunsford wins this one with ease. His glutes all the way in, his back looks hard, and his structure is insane, and the amount of muscle. And just the way that pose looks, Derek Lunsford hands down. Kamalo Gagne also looks very good on that shot. Rear lat spread, I would say Derek Lunsford once again, while his back isn't as conditioned as some of these other guys. I just think his glutes and the way his legs look on this pose sort of takes it out from him, plus the tiny, tiny waist. So Derek Lunsford on that one. Side tricep is much closer, but I would say Sean Clarita probably gets that one. The ab and thigh, this one's really tough because they're hitting it slightly differently. So I'm not going to really judge that one, but I'd probably say Sean Clarita there just based on hardness. Derek Lunsford though, definitely based on structure and shape. And the most muscular, I would say Sean Clarita or Kamal or Gagne on that one, most likely Sean Clarita. Derek Lunsford just isn't hard enough through the shoulders and chest on that, and even through the arms a little bit as well. So this is going to be a battle in the 212 Olympia. Let me know in the comments below, who do you think is winning the 212 Olympia after pre-judging? And do you think the placings can actually change? It's that close. Let me know. Is it Sean Clarita, Derek Lunsford, or Kamal or Gagne taking the 212 2021 Mr. Olympia title? Now, I want to touch on a few other competitors before we wrap this one up. Ahmed Ashkenani, he was in that first call out as well. So he's probably likely going to be fourth, fifth, somewhere around there. Brought in a much better package than I expected, more separated than normal. And just overall, just probably one of his best packages he's brought to the stage in many, many years. Nathan Epler, who got moved into that second last call out. So he's probably a second call out guy realistically in this 212 Olympia. Inside out shredded. His conditioning was second to none. I think he was the best conditioned guy in the show, and his lines were so clean as well. Insane, insane. Even though he's five foot seven, he deserved that second call out, no doubt. Angel Ferris Calderon, very, very hard. Looks sensational, as he always does. I think he's better than last year. He's seemed like his legs were bigger than last year, and he's going to place very well in this show as well. Tony Burton, he was in the third call out. I thought he looked insane. I would love to see him next to these top guys, to be honest. He looked super dense, super thick, and super hard. Not sure why he was down in that third call out, but that's where he actually was. But maybe he'll move into a second call out or something at finals. And last but not least, Keon Pearson in the last call out, which will shock a lot of people, is basically a conditioning issue. His conditioning was not good enough here. It was better early in the year when he did the qualifying show. I don't know what went wrong in his prep, but hopefully he can resurrect that and uh, he doesn't you know, let this get to him. But uh, let me know what you think in the comments below. What did you think about Keon Pearson? What do you think about this top three, Sean Clarita, Kamal El Gagne, or Derek Lunsford? Who do you have winning? Let me know in the comments below. For me, I'm not sure who's actually going to win this show. It was hard to tell. I didn't get to see the full pre-judging because there was issues with the pay-per-view as well. But it depends what the judges really like. If they want structure, if they want shape, they're going to go for Derek. If they want gnarly conditioning, they're going to go for Kamal or Sean Clarita. So cannot wait to see how it turns out. But I think Derek and Sean Clarita are likely 1-2, and then Kamal likely in third. Then we've got Ahmed Ashkenani or Angel Frias Calderon or someone like that uh, in that fourth position. But let me know in the comments. Like I said, if you guys like and appreciate this content, please give this video a thumbs up. Smash that like button. Also, subscribe and hit the notification bell button. That way, you'll be notified of every video that goes up from myself, Xavier Wills, at Desktop Bodybuilding, including all my 2021 Mr. Olympia coverage. So for Xavier Wills, Desktop Bodybuilding, we are...